Ooh, uh, hi everyone, Professional, Professional here, here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Meek Mill album, Championships. This is the latest full-length LP from Philly rapper and Maybach music group MVP, Meek Mill. And Championships is a pretty big moment for Meek. This album comes after some of the most tumultuous years of any rapper's career. As Meek is currently in the calm of an ongoing legal storm that has somehow made him the face of criminal justice reform in the hip-hop community. Something that's earned him not just tons of coverage within the music journalism community, but outside of it too, on network news, even uh, a New York Times op-ed that was published recently. And it would seem that Meek's story is actually having a cultural impact, which all in all is a pretty good thing. And I've talked about this before on camera. I'm not here to say that Meek has never broken a law in his life, or that he's a perfect angel, or that he's followed all the rules of his parole. But reading deeper into the situation, it's pretty clear that the court has taken an active role in playing with Meek's time, playing with his life, gotten in the way of business opportunities, and just generally given him the runaround. And the court system should mainly prioritize carrying out justice and assessing whether or not certain individuals are threats to society, not turn the lives of high-profile celebrities into total fiascos out of a personal vendetta or just the will to make an example out of somebody. Not only is it painfully unfair, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money, and a serious misuse of the judicial branch of government. Because the only example the court system has made in the case of Meek Mill is the revolving door many ex-cons find themselves trapped in post-prison. Now, even though all of this has made really interesting context surrounding the release of this album, I would be a total fool if I were to go into this thing thinking that this experience that Meek has been going through uh, has totally changed his sound, totally changed his lyrical abilities. Certainly Meek Mill can get personal in his songs, but I didn't have any assumptions going into this thing that he's suddenly going to become like this introspective, conscious voice. Not only that, but I don't think that's really what his fans are truly looking for from him. I mean, surely there need to be tracks on this record that reference the experience that he's been going through, but he came up a braggadocious pop rapper, and I think he's just going to kind of continue down that path. I mean, even my favorite Meek Mill project, Dreams Worth More Than Money, is not really much more than a pop trap album at the end of the day. And even though I do like the high level of energy Meek Mill typically delivers his bars with, Sometimes his writing is pretty average, or just centers around a very limited amount of topics. I mean, I think his follow-up record in 2017, Wins and Losses, displayed just how one-dimensional he is, as he didn't really bring a whole lot to the table that he hadn't already on his previous albums and mixtapes. And in most ways, Championships, despite everything Meek has been through, is pretty much yet another bloated, focus-grouped, a little something for everybody pop rap album with a lot of trap beats and quite a few hit or miss features. Meek attempts a track with a kind of Latin vibe to it on the track Uptown Vibes with a few little beat switch ups in the instrumental that take on kind of a reggaeton groove. There's also a very sluggish Anwell AA verse at the very end of the track. The song would be a total loss if not for Meek's hyped chorus. Cardi B's appearance on this record is pretty average despite her being the hottest commodity in hip hop right now. Jay-Z's heavily covered contribution on this thing is really only interesting because of the lyric that he throws out about Kanye. And I do think some of the brags about his business acumen in this verse are pretty clever, but for the most part, there's not really a whole lot of chemistry between him and Meek and Ross. The last of which there is, is barely even a factor on this track, even though he kicks the entire song off. LMA's inclusion in this record really only adds up into a track that feels like a 2000s era R&B pop rap blend. And Going Bad featuring Drake did cause a lot of commotion because, hey, Meek and Drake, they had that big explosive beef that everybody remembers, and now they're back together, oh, things are smoothed over, it's cool. And, I mean, it is good that Drake and Meek are back on good terms, I assume. Drake kind of seals the show on the track. But this song is basically yet another piece of sanitary pop rap without much in the way of a strong hook to carry it all. It mostly feels like Drake and Meek are kind of riffing for three minutes and then it just sort of ends. I mean, this is basically the kind of stuff I anticipated from this record and I got it. There are like a handful of songs in the 19 tracks of this record where Meek pretty boldly dives into the 
legal battles and very traumatizing experiences that he's been going through over the past few years. Uh, the track Intro, the track Trauma, the closing track Cold Hearted 2, which are all undoubtedly high points on this record. Meek's lyrics are great, they are vivid, they are detailed, they tell a strong story, he delivers all of his verses passionately. And there are a few other cuts on here that may not directly be related to everything that Meek has been going through, but they do still tell a personal story of his own struggle, whether it be sort of in the present, like on the track Respect the Game, or going back into his past, like on the track Oodles and Oodles Babies. And it's not like Meek needs to be super socially charged on a song in order for it to be good. The cutthroat Pay You Back with 21 Savage is savage as hell and definitely one of the nastiest songs on this entire thing. The braggadocious and glamorous Stuck In My Ways is about as flashy and as money-hungry as we expect Meek to be. It's a fun, hard-hitting, captivating track that pretty much tells you that Meek is not changing. He's not intending on doing anything different. He's staying on his typical grind. I mean, it says it basically in the title, and if it wasn't obvious enough, he goes deep into the lyrics about his drugs, his money, his cars, his women, you get the idea. But almost every likable moment on this record is countered by a song where Meek is uh, not executing very well, going for a sound that doesn't really favor him, whether it be the terrible auto-tuned ballad Almost Slipped, or the buttery and smooth Dangerous toward the back end of this LP, which also features PNB rock and is equally uninspired. So yeah, overall this album is every bit as much the mixed bag that I anticipated it would be. And again, while I do appreciate the position that Meek is in currently, and I do like the fact that he's using his influence and his platform to spread ideas and, and make a case for some very important issues, the fact remains at this point his music is still pretty average. And if he's going to continue to stay in this pop rap mode, continue down this path, I would much prefer that in the future he drop a record more like Dreams Worth More Than Money, where he's cutting down the track list to the most essential moments, he's not embarking on anything too awkward or awful, anything that's outside of his comfort zone or beyond his abilities, or putting redundant tracks on his album too, because Meek, while I do like him and I do think he has a nice baseline of talent, I don't see him as an artist who's so dynamic that he can carry an hour and ten minutes of material and have it be fire from front to back. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this thing. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Meek Mill, forever.